Hey everybody, Jeff here, Aromatics. Hope everybody is doing well. Boy oh boy, it's been a long time since my last video, at least for me, usually I do one or two videos a week, something like that. And it's probably been over two weeks since my last one. So just got busy, the weather's been warm, I've been doing lots of fishing and it just hasn't been the right time to do a pipe tobacco review or cigar review or anything else. So, but today it's a beautiful day. I'm back in the swing of things and I'm gonna start things off with smoking a cigar that I have been wanting to try for a long time. And that is the Viaje Zombie Antidote. Uh, another one I also was wanting to try was the Viaje Jalapeno, which I also will be reviewing very soon. So yeah, this is quite a, a rare cigar. Um, they're limited releases that come out of the Viaje stable. And this one really doesn't say much about it since it is sort of a really rare boutique -y type of cigar. They don't really disclose what's in it. As far as I know, it's a Nicaraguan Puro. And it's got a really cool band. Uh, looks like it's supposed to look kind of like a, you know, a syringe to give you an antidote from the zombie apocalypse. And um, it just, uh, yeah, I'll just give you a, show you that there. It's kind of got that little barcode as well. And it is like a perfecto shape. I think it is six, six and a half inches long by 44 ring gauge. So okay, the smell on it, it's just beautiful. It's a maple brown sugar smell with maybe a little bit of kind of a wood smell along with that. So let me uh, give it a little cut here and we'll tell you what the draw is like. There we go, nice little, little tight little spongy. I should have let it dry out a little more. I thought I did. Mm. Kind of a nutmeg, cooking spice, and oak. So okay, let me get this thing lit up and I'll be back in a little bit and let you know how it smokes. Hey everybody, we're back and this time we've got a special guest. Hello Katie Piper. Hey everyone. <laughs> so yeah, she'll be doing a cigar review a little bit later, probably the Viaje, the jalapeno maybe. Jalapeno, yeah. Yeah, and uh, maybe we'll do one together, or we can do one separate. Whatever, we'll see. So I am getting uh, right down to the band here, which I will have to take off before I start getting some real uh, interesting flavors. But uh, so far, I am getting some real interesting flavors. Speaking of that, and that is some a lot of cooking spices. I'm getting some sweet cinnamon, some nutmeg, maybe some cardamom, just some just interesting. They're there, they're really light, and that is basically mixed in with a, I would say, a light roasted coffee with a little bit of cream, and just mixing those flavors in there, and they all come in and out. Uh, well, the coffee flavor is always there, but those cooking spices just come in and out and are really nice, just really mellow, really, really sweet and uh, naturally sweet and they just kind of give this cigar a really nice complexity the strength is about mild medium but the flavors uh, are also about a medium but they're they're there they're it's not a weak cigar by any means nicotine wise so far so good i'm not really feeling any any major effects oh ash just fell off so, so far so good. I'm really enjoying it. It's not really what I expected. It, it's, it's, well, I didn't really know what to expect, but so far so good. So we're just gonna hang out and smoke this down a little more and I'll be back in a little bit and let you know how it goes. Hey everybody, I'm back and I'm getting down past the, the halfway mark on my cigar. And so, so far, uh, actually the, the flavors have transitioned. The, all those nuances and cooking spices seem to have faded away. And I'm basically getting mostly just uh, a medium roast coffee with cream and maybe a little bit of ginger spice, just a little bit, the kind of a heat you would get from a, the ginger spice itself. And it's, and it's pretty good. It's still holding up good, although it is probably need, probably should have been uh, at a lower RH because it's getting a little bit spongy and hot. It is a humid day today, so that's probably affecting it as well. But other than that, so far it's been really good. The things that I've liked about it were the, the complexity, the fact that it is a medium bodied, medium flavored cigar, but yet very pleasant, very, there's lots there to enjoy. 
So yeah, I'm looking forward to smoking uh, one of these again, hopefully at a lower RH, a little bit drier. Maybe it'll uh, give me those flavors a little bit longer than it has, because it has. it is getting a little bit hot and a little bit harsh. But at least the flavors have ramped up towards the last half. So although they've kind of gotten a little less complex, they've gotten a little stronger. So it's still an interesting cigar right down to this point so far and really, really enjoying it. Pretty, pretty good cigar. So I think I'll leave it at that. And I hope you guys enjoyed my review and I'll see you on my next one. Till then, Aromatics and Hello Kitty signing out.